I'm Daichi Fujimiya. Just became a sophomore, and here I am during spring break killing time by wandering around the park. Ah, beautiful. Oh. I found myself completely captivated by the girl in front of me admiring the cherry blossoms. More beautiful than the cherry blossoms, more charming than the tulips. I was mesmerized by the girl whose name I didn't even know. Huh? Shoot, we made eye contact. I quickly left the scene. The next morning, I went to dispose of the trash at the neighborhood dump. It's usually my job in the family to take out the trash in the morning. Hey, wait. Ah, the lady next door. She's still as unfriendly and scary as ever. This trash isn't sorted properly. Yes, I'm sorry. Rules are rules. Follow them. Understood. I'll sort it right now. Good. See, you can do it. Yes. Well, it might have been your parents who messed up the sorting, but you didn't sulk or complain and just fixed it. Seems like you have an honest heart. Well, you could say that. Honestly, I was just too scared to talk back. For such an honest kid like you, I'll give you these theme park pair tickets. Eh? This intimidating looking grandma moved into the house next to mine a few days ago. I had seen her a few times outside her house, and thought she seemed unfriendly and scary. Oh, thank you so much, but I don't have anyone to go with, and I shouldn't really accept this since I messed up the trash sorting. I appreciate the gesture, though. No worries. I like amusement parks. Um, are you saying you and I are going together? You're coming, right? Uh, um. Then be at the amusement park entrance by 11 a.m. on Sunday. I'll be waiting then. Wait, hold on. Overwhelmed by her insistence, I couldn't find any me to refuse, and just watched as she walked away. It seems like I have to go to the amusement park with her. How is spending my day off with a stranger and an elderly lady at that supposed to be fun? Sunday. Uh, I actually showed up. I mean, she lives next door, so I can't just ignore her. Ah, uh, my first amusement park date, and it's with a grandma. Sorry to keep you waiting. What? To my surprise, it was the girl I had seen before in the park full of cherry blossoms. Uh, is there a mix-up? I was supposed to meet you, Daiji. How do you know my name? Well, it had to be this way, right? A bit disappointing, but inevitable, huh? What are you talking about? My grandma scolded you at the trash place the other day, right? Sorry about that. She's pretty stern and looks scary, so it must have been frightening, right? Your grandma? That's Mrs. Kawashima from next door? Yes, I'm Monica Kawashima. Nice to meet you. What? The granddaughter of that grandma? You weren't home when we came by to introduce ourselves after moving in. You were at cram school, right? I don't know what grandma intended by making Monaka and me meet, but I thought it was like a dream come true to have a miraculous reunion with a girl I couldn't help staring at in that cherry blossom park. I think the last time I went to an amusement park was in elementary school. How about you, Daichi? I guess the last time I went was around when I was in elementary school too. Is this your first time here alone with a girl? Never. I mean, this is actually my first date ever. Date? Ah, uh, shoot. A date, huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to say. It's just a neighborhood thing for you, maybe. By the way, this is my first date too. Daichi, do you have a girlfriend? Nope. So, do you have someone you like? Someone I like? Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of a gray area right now. But why are you asking all these questions? Because we're both high school students, I'm curious. That's all. Gotcha. Wait, you moved here over spring break, right? Are you a transfer student? Which high school? ABC High School. What? That's my school too. Nice to meet you then. Monaka didn't seem surprised at all to hear that it was the same high school as mine. Before I knew it, the ferry wheel had made a full circle and the doors opened. Suddenly, she sprinted off somewhere. And I had no idea why, but found myself chasing after her. Mommy, it's okay, it's okay. Big sister is here with you. 
And there's a cool big brother here, too! Huh? Come on, let's go find your mom together, okay? I was amazed. Even while we were on the ferry wheels talking, she noticed the lost little boy. She really sees everything around her. Manaka is kind, cheerful, and beautiful both inside and out. I found myself even more drawn to Manaka. At the start of the semester, Manaka transferred to my class. Hey, I need to go to the staff room during lunch break, but I forgot the way because I'm directionally challenged. Of course, I'll show you. Thanks. But I can't believe I ended up right next to you, Daiichi. If I were next to you, it would remind me of old times. Old times? You knew about me before, right? Because it didn't seem surprised that we were at the same high school either. You really don't remember, huh? They say people grow stronger by losing things close to them. But maybe it's about time I started gaining instead of losing. What do you mean? Just then, the bell rang and cut off our conversation. Manaka didn't say anything specific, but her words felt heavy. Probably because instead of her usual sunny, dazzling smile, today she had a melancholic, wistful smile like someone watching the late summer sea. Seeing her like that, usually for me I felt a strong desire to protect her. That night... Huh? An ambulance stopped next door? I wonder if something happened at Manaka's place. I rushed to the front door and found my mom just coming back from outside. Mrs. Kawashima collapsed. What? Poor granddaughter. I heard she doesn't have any parents. Worried about Manaka and her grandmother, I couldn't sleep at all that night. Distracted by last night's events, I couldn't focus on class the next day. So after school, I decided to look for the hospital where Manaka's grandmother was admitted. The first place I tried was the general hospital near our school. Daichi, is that you? Manaka, I'm so glad to find you at the first hospital I walked into. Your grandma will be okay. I'm here for you. I'll stay by our side, so don't worry. <laughs> That's reassuring. But, you know, grandma just fractured a bone. It's nothing life-threatening. Oh, sorry. I could have assumed it was something really serious. Thanks, though. I'm really happy you came to visit. Let me take you to Grandma's room. Yeah. What a fuss over nothing. I just tripped while hauling out the bulky trash. I've got to keep moving while I still can, right? As usual, she spoke in a gruff tone, her expression saying not to treat her like an old lady even with a cast on her leg. But hurting yourself defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Some people end up bedridden from a fracture. You're starting to sound like your mother. Are you trying to say I'm meddling? Uh, I'm glad. What? Daichi, are you crying? I'm just glad you're well enough to argue. Uh, no. I guess it's not good because you're injured. You were really worried about her. Thank you. Manaka's grandmother's usually stern face softened a bit. I'm fine, so no need to worry about me. I've got at least 30 more years in me. But take care of Monica, will you? What? what? With my legs like this, I'll be stuck in the hospital for a while. So Daiichi, I'm counting on you to be there for Monica. She gets lonely easily. Grandma, what are you saying? It's true, isn't it? Jeez, Grandma! Of course, I'll be there. Right beside Monica. What? I'm counting on you. Yes. I think that was the most enthusiastic response I've given in years. After leaving the hospital, we ended up having dinner together at Manaka's place. Of course I helped with cooking. This is really delicious. Because we both worked hard on it. Next time Grandma comes, let's celebrate her discharge together. Yeah. Can I ask you something? There's something that's been bothering me. I wonder why your grandma is so okay with me being involved with you. Why did your grandma give me those amusement park tickets? It seems odd to bring you and me closer together, given I'm a stranger who just met her in a new place we just moved to. Daichi, does the name Monica Nakagawa ring a bell? Um... Oh, wasn't she the girl who transferred out around 4th grade? I think our seats were next to each other. My dad was transferred a lot, so I moved schools every 2 or 3 years. Back then, I was gloomy and plain, and I didn't really fit in at school. 
but Daichi, who sat next to me, always talked to me and taught me a lot about comics. But now, your name is Manaka Kawashima? Actually, right after I transferred in fourth grade, my parents got divorced. My mom raised me on her own, but she passed away from an illness when I was in middle school. I see. That must have been tough. That made me even more withdrawn, but my grandma scolded me and made me realize I couldn't go on like that. I decided I had to live properly, for my mom, too. Just when grandma and I were dealing with that, a large commercial facility was planned on the site of our house, and we had to move. That's why we moved to this town. But why did you choose to move to such a rural place? I asked grandma if we could. I wanted to meet you again, Daichi. So I asked to move to this town. Can such a coincidence really happen? Actually, I think I saw you in the park with a cherry blossom shortly after you moved here. I was captivated by you then. Maybe it was meant to be. No way! We must have been connected by a red string all along. I'm so happy! I had a crush on you when we were in elementary school. And now, I like you even more. From now on, every time I see cherry blossoms, I'll think of Manaka. It was a spring when such happiness came to me.